Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. And I have to, to introduce myself. Um, my name is Charles. Charles, who I'm from Nigeria, basically from Enugu State. And I've been in UK for a long time. <clears throat> and I've been in Scotland, I've been in England, I've been in Wales, I've been in even that, that's Robert Gordon. Uh, I lived in um, Glasgow before, so I know Scotland very well. And it's a very cold place, you know. That's one thing about Scotland. Uh, that uh, at times it is it, warm in London, and when you get to to Glasgow, it becomes very cold. But it's a very good place, like uh, Aberdeen. Because I find out that most of you are heading to towards Aberdeen. Aberdeen is um, is a bit posh area in Scotland because of the oil companies uh, settling down there. So it's a very good place, and there's a lot of uh, opportunities even there. And but the, the 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 truth is that if you are going into IT these days, uh, location doesn't matter. You, you anywhere if you, if, you, if you have the right skills in IT, you can you can you can do magic from any location. So and this case is highly uh, being sought after by companies because we don't have enough um, professionals. And I decided that at this point in time, in as much as I see actively work in the industry on the, on the sectors i have to 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 make out time and uh, start transferring my skills to the upcoming generation you know more especially we uh from nigeria or the blacks or uh, we are we are we are kind of shortchanged within the industry you know and it's time we start coming up we start taking our place within the IT. And IT have the, the capacity to give the whole world this job we are looking for. I'm telling you, there is a lot in IT. And the, the truth is that we don't even know where we are going. Some of us in IT, we, we don't know what, where we are going. Because if you see what machine learning is doing you see what um, artificial intelligence what they are doing and more is like now you see uh, like facebook they are coming up with metaverse and as they are coming up with metaverse microsoft they are working on their own um, metaverse so many other companies are working on their own metaverse these are creating a lot of opportunities you know um Amazon started this cloud journey, but almost every company like Facebook, uh, Microsoft, um, Alibaba, all of them are joining this uh, cloud journey. So every company is now going to the cloud. Now you can see institutions are now beginning to join this cloud journey. Everybody, our, our traditional system of education is going away. I'm telling you that if you don't know how to, to work from the cloud or remotely as a teacher or as a lecturer or as a university, if you cannot manage your, your school uh, your remotely, the students, will go, they are going to run away from you because everybody wants, wants the, the technology have given us this kind of comfort and nobody, want, nobody wants to suffer. I don't see a situation. I will try. I will, I will spend a lot of money, miles going to my university um, to, to acquire education where I can comfortably acquire a better education from the comfort of my bedroom, just like what you are doing now. If, for instance, all of you are now working class and you want to. Um, uh, 
add value to yourself by adding, like now you are going for, for master's degree. You find out that you, you, you have to go to the uni every day, in the morning, you abandon your family. You do, it's not working and now you are going to abandon your job. The only good thing is that here you are coming for, for better economy. But for instance, if you are in Nigeria and you want to do your masters, and now you have to you check, look at the stress. When you, when you finish your job, then you start going to the, the school on weekend. It's very difficult, but technology has made it very easy that you can come back from work and just spend two hours or one hour with your lecturer and that's cool. Before you know it, you acquire a very useful um, skills. That's where technology is taking us. So all these things is about project management. And all these things I'm talking about is about business analysis. So it's the project managers, they continue to manage all these project, this IT project, as the IT is evolving, is um, increasing, is um, consuming the whole world. So the project managers become more busy. They are, that's how we don't have enough professionals because there is a lot. There's a lot of IT projects to manage, but we have only few people that can do that very well. And when you talk about IT projects, these are a lot of money companies are investing and they, and they, they don't want to, to entrust these uh, projects into the, the wrong hands. So if you can demonstrate that you have these skills, then you are gonna get a job. And believe me, companies are no longer interested in certificates. I graduated from uh, University of Westminster in, um, in 2011, that's when I finished my master from University of Westminster. And since then I've been working as the, either as a project manager, as a business analyst, but no company have ever asked me about my certificate or where did you graduate from? They want me to demonstrate my skills. How can you just, you say you can do this, do it. In your CV, you said you can do this. You said you have these skills. How do you do it? demonstrates how you do it. And when you demonstrate and prove them you can do it, you get the job. So it's no longer about um, certificates. It's very good. I'm not trying to, to, to discourage you or say that um, uh, going to Robert Godon or going to University of Strathclyde or going to um, uh, Harvard, that is not good, it's good. But, these skills in the main thing. So I'm developing these courses based on my experience. So I'm using my experience that knowing that actually university will not have these skills you are looking for. That's why I designed all these courses to give, to bridge the, as I, I, I'm designing these courses as a business analyst. I've analyzed the gap within our educational system. And I've decided to bridge the gap with all these courses. And the testimony is that my students are, they are, they are getting good, good jobs and they've not even um, graduated. My first set, they have not even up to, to, to three, uh, four months, uh, this is uh, um, the fourth month but so many of them have started getting good, good jobs. So I have um, a slide I prepare for my presentation. And um, I think at this point in time, I need to pull my slide. So that's how I do my presentation. That's how I do my workshop and uh, over the time, if we are going to work together, we we'll understand that uh, that is the best way to do things. I'm going to teach you how we do things. If, if you are joining us, first thing is that I say either you are the project manager 
or you be a business analyst, you must know how to. to allow me to that. allow me to enjoy what I learned something now. So you, you must uh, learn mm -hmm. how to facilitate a workshop, just like what we are doing. And yeah, workshop you need to be organized. This is what companies are looking for. So I will uh, do a, a little presentation, and after then we can uh, continue with our interaction with questions and answers. I will pull my slide now. So, um, what we're having tonight is an open evening um on hybrid project management and the business analysis apprentice program and um, this um, school is a very young school a very young uh, is a startup we are barely five months but we've we are, we've already made serious impact in the life of so many people that have joined us. We started this by offering a scholars, please, if, if you are, I want everybody to mute yourself so that we can have a clean environment. So we offered um, a scholarship to more than 200 people. And um, that's how we started. And I'm very happy that they are doing well. We are rounding our projects up. Very soon we'll start. Um, closing up some of our projects. And we have like six projects running out of all these uh, students. We, we have we divided them into groups and we have projects where they are doing their internship uh, within our consulting firm. We've got a consulting firm, we've got a lot of startups running. We partner with a lot of startups where um some of you after your training you have a, an internship that's how we we started and that's how we are running um this school so this is uh, what we are looking at uh, um, achieving this night first it's going to be general introduction which we have done done a bit of introduction. Then we'll look at the course overview. We'll look at the uh, program description, the target audience, uh, program requirements, work experience, tax and deliverable during the work placement, salary range for project managers and business analysts, both in UK and within the global market and a brief case study on how we teach. And then we'll look at a few success stories here. And you have opportunity to make an input uh, by, by asking questions. And that's how we plan to achieve what we're going to do tonight. And I am the instructor in this uh, project management and business analysis. I'm a senior project manager. I'm a senior business analyst. I'm a data analyst. I'm a developer. I'm a certified scrum master. I'm a certified product owner. I'm an entrepreneurship consultant and a mentor. I've worked in financial industry 
telecoms, government and public sector, construction sector, retail sector, health care sector, and educational sector in the capacity of either a project manager, a business analyst, or as a developer. Currently, currently, uh, we have um, um, 321 students within our school. We have um, some students here in UK. We have some students in Canada. We have some students in Switzerland. And we have few students in America as well. Uh, but most of our students are based in Nigeria because of the, the massive scholarship we gave to them. So, and they are very happy. And I'm happy because of their, their performances and their achievement. Now, let's look at our course overview. This program, um, the enrollment will start on 15th. Uh, the the enrollment started on 15th of June, and the program is meant to start on 15th of July. And this is a four months uh, program, and it's going to be 100% remote. Remote that you work from home or from your remote location, everything is going to be online, online based. But it's going to be uh, visual classes, visual uh, meeting, uh, visual workshop, and the rest of them. That's how we are going to be engaging within this program. <clears throat> this hybrid project manager, business analysis mentoring uh, program is a four-month uh, apprentice program. The program is broken down into two stages, one month training and three months work placement. During work placement with some of our partner startups, you will work with a project team where the team uh, will be working on real life projects, real life IT projects, which you, the team must complete before or uh, before you finish, or it must be completed within three months. So it's going to be very intensive. This program will equip you with the most relevant skill sets that today's job market is looking for. For those living outside the UK, we will guide you through getting jobs at a remote global job market like Upwork. Like currently, some of the, uh, my students have started getting jobs, project manager job, a business analyst job in Upwork. The, the, the other one that got job in Upwork is based in Nigeria. And it's going, that was a long project. You know, it's um, a 15, 15 dollars an hour and it's eight hours a day job which is, um, is good for those in Nigeria, but here in UK, I don't think anybody will want to do a project management job for that rate. The least 
in a project management job in UK be around 20 pounds an hour. So, but we're coming to that, we're coming to look at the, the market rate. So, then let's look at the target audience. The people we are looking at are part qualified and newly qualified undergraduates. Graduates with no or little industry experience. Candidates working in related jobs who want career progression. Individuals who are seeking to get into global remote job market but with no skill sets um, to start with. So these are the people. Mostly, I can see a lot of young mothers struggling with uh, raising and uh, it's not easy, but this is a very good opportunity. I can tell you that uh, for the past three years now, I've been working from home. That's what I do. And those people going to, to, to work every day, they are not making more money than me. So, and it gives me time to do things the way I want it. So that is a, a one big advantage. So you can, it gives you the ability to manage your time. And from research, you find out that people that are working from home are making more imputes than people that go to the office. Because by the time you start going to the office and maybe all the, the time you go to the office and come back, people that are working from home, they've achieved a lot within that period of time you are spending commuting to office, commuting back. So, so companies are beginning to like it and they appreciate that. So companies are not complaining. This is what they have been looking. They ensure they, they, they love it because we are making more, more inputs these days. So 90, let me say 80% of IT jobs these days are remote. And is increasing. So just that uh, companies, because of work ethics, they want people to start coming to the office once in a while to see your face. And... But it's, we are more productive working from home. So requirement for this program, the requirement is not um, is not tough. We want as many people to to participate, and we are not uh, making it uh, difficult for people. That's why even the price uh, the price well is at um, is um. Is still on promo price. Yeah, because I want to uh, uh, as many people as possible to partake in this program. But the price in UK is, um, you can get this program uh, in, in, in no less than uh, the, the, the cheapest amount we charge here in UK is a thousand five hundred pounds. You can verify it if you, if you want. So the requirements for this program is um, part qualified, newly or newly qualified graduates, graduates with no or little industrial experience, a computer desktop or laptop with internet connectivity as the program will be fully remote. 
valid email address because we have a portal we need to register within our portal where we be managing the course and managing the assignment and a lot of things. Valid mobile phone. And uh, the most important thing, the most important thing is I can do it attitude. That is the most important thing. Because you have this, I can do it attitude, then you can achieve anything you want within, within this program. And this program can help you to, to get to your place of um, destiny or your dream. So that's why I say that the most important thing is that attitude. And I've seen the attitude in most of you and i want to say congratulations once more for for having this attitude very important believing in yourself that you can do it the work experience and these are some of the area that a lot of people are interested in we understand the importance of work experience this can often be a deciding factor when applying for a project manager business analyst job. And with this in mind, we have developed a comprehensive job placement that will make you eligible for a wide variety of entry project manager job through the business analyst rule. Yeah, some of our startups after working with us, we'll give you reference, we'll refer, we'll give you references that you worked with us because these are some of the things that you need to kickstart. Companies, they want to know where you work. They, 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 they won't ask you, um, where did you study? Believe me, they are not gonna ask you that, but they want to know where you worked, what experience you've, worked, you've got. What did you do there? Describe what the, the role you performed. How did you do this? And this, being in the market, I've, got, I've been through so many interviews and I know what they want. And I structured everything to make sure that you beat the market. So when they'll be asking you all these questions, you already, be, you have answers to this question they are going to be asking you because that's what we are going to be treating everything. That's the way we designed the, the work uh, experience. It's going to give you the risk case you, got, you need to excel. And again, we are going to give you the, the references that you, you require because some of these companies, they will, they will ask you for, for, for professional referees. And we are going to do that. So, but some of our um, some of our students that have started um, work in the upwork, so many of them they are now asking them. Although, although we prepared uh, some of them very well for the interview, and they but they 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 didn't ask any of them about um, referees. But for instance like most of you are coming to UK, uh, they are going to ask you for that because you are going to be applying locally when you come to UK, you know? But is, um, the, as long as you have the required skills, we'll give you the, the required skills here and the, 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 the work placement, the, the referees, so everything will provide everything you need. The work experience program offers candidates a strong foundation of experience and relevant training required to secure a job uh, as a project manager, as a business analyst. And uh, this we are guarantee we, we guarantee you a work experience with uh, these our partners. 
or if you have time, I might um, show you some of our partners, uh, their websites, but let's see uh, if we have time for that. Some of the tasks and the duties um, or deliverables you are going to be um, seeing during your work placement. We are going to be analyzing business structures, how it um, uses technologies. We're going to be analyzing stakeholders to find out their goals and objectives as project managers and business analysts. We are going to be identifying problems within businesses using data modeling techniques. We are going to be formulating ways for business to improve based on previous research. We are, we are going to be persuading internal and external stakeholders of the benefits of new technologies and strategies using business cases. We are going to be overseeing the implementation of new technologies and systems uh, using varieties of uh, uh, methodologies. We are going to be using um, agile methodology We'll combine agile methodology with Six Sigma and uh, Lean. Or looking at a uh, process improvement, We're looking at a uh, waste reduction. So we are going to combine all this. We are equally going to chip in a, a little a bit of a traditional uh, method of uh, project management. We are going to weave all these things together. We are going to bring the best in all the project management methodologies and uh, weave them together to give you um, a sustainable project management experience, managing projects end to end. We are going to be running through a project management life cycle and a software development life cycle. That's what we're going to be doing. And by the time we finish doing that, you are going to be ready to jump into the market. So we will learn how to run workshops and um, training session, because that's very important as a project manager and a business analyst. So you, you must learn how to run workshops. Is very important, just like what I'm doing now. This is a workshop. So you're already learning how to do that. By the time you finish our projects, our training, finish our work placement, you must know how to, to organize and run an effective workshop. And this is very important as the project manager and as a business analyst. You must be able to communicate very well. So, um, looking at the, the salary structure within the UK market, as a junior, project manager, stroke junior business analyst, you'll be earning between 30,000 pounds to 45,000 pounds per annum. These are mainly permanent jobs. But if it's a contract job, it can be way higher than this because there's a lot of um, short, short-term contracts. But are you, most of you are coming, will be coming in as junior project managers and junior business analysts. It's very good to start from the junior. But some sharp people will just um, jump the junior based on their already work experience. Like I can see some of you are telling me they have a, 
uh, 20 years work experience, some say 15 years work experience. If you are smart enough, you can jump from junior business to start applying as a proper business analyst or as a proper uh, project manager and start earning up to 45 to 55,000 pounds per annum or even getting um, jobs that um, on contract basis, mainly the range for normal project manager, business analyst contract job is um, between 350 to 500 pounds per day. That's what they earn. And these jobs can be like six months contracts, one year contracts, five year, five months contracts. These are the range of these contracts. If you are look, looking for contracts, uh, project manager, business analyst job. But if you are looking for permanent positions, the permanent position is within this range. And for senior project managers, senior business analysts who are looking at between 55,000 to 70,000 um, per annum and above, depending on the industry or the, yeah, because, um, uh, financial industries tend to be higher, you know, than others. So, but normally, as a senior business analyst, as a senior project manager, you can end up to fifty-five thousand to seventy thousand pounds per annum here in UK. Then, looking at the global markets like mainly people working from um, up work you know the this um when a company decided to come to up work they are looking for cheap labor that's one thing i want you to understand so if you are a nigerian and uh, you are in up work let me tell you most of the jobs at Upwork are meant for people from developing countries because these are most of them are startup companies looking for where they can get um, cheap labor. And the project manager job in Upwork is between $15 to $40 per hour. You know, one of my students that got um, a, a business analyst job in Upwork um, started the last week. Uh, she's she, she's getting paid uh, fifteen dollars uh, an hour. But I know if he's in UK, nobody's uh, no business analyst or project manager will agree to, to take that amount of money because it's too poor, can't pay our bills. And as a project, as a business analyst in Upwork, the, 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 the salary range is between 20 to $40 an hour. So this is the, 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 the salary range based on our, um, our research. You can, you can find out by yourself. Okay. Now, our method of teaching. We teach with case studies and the practical approach to solutions. We don't believe in so much in theory. Yeah, I'm doing that because I've, I've, I've had experience with theories and practicals. I'm using what works. The approach that can give you, guarantee you job in the, in the, in the market. That's what I'm looking at. And also everything we do, look at the practical approach. And that's why that's the only way we can 
navigate the market. So, <clears throat> for instance, as a business analyst, you have a problem you want to um, solve a problem for a company. That's I want to give you how a business analyst um, works. Now, look at let's look at this case study. Following our example, this is um, a food company or a, restaur a restaurant. The problem here is that uh, it takes too long to serve a food in a restaurant. That is their problem. That's the problem they are facing is a restaurant. And when a customer places an order, it takes too long to serve the food and customers are complaining. So they hire you as a business analyst because they are losing their customers and they don't want that. They are losing their customers. The loyalty rate is going down. And the revenue <coughs> is declining. And their profit is declining as well. So they get higher, they hire you as a business analyst to solve their problem. What do you do as a business analyst? Number one, you look at the problem. This particular problem, we use a fishbone diagram to solve this particular problem. Fishbone diagram or fishbone analysis is an analysis we use um, from Six Sigma to get to the root cause of a problem. If we are doing a root cause analysis, we use fishbone analysis. And after using speech bone analysis, this is what you find out to be the problem. The customer complained that the food takes too long to be served. And the current situation, because when you find out the problem, you need to look at the current situation. We call it as C's or current situation or current state. So find out the current situation is that the food takes on average of 14 minutes to be served. And after our requirement gathering, we find out from the stakeholders and from the customers that the food should be served no more than 11 minutes after the ordering. So this is very clear. It's, take 11, it's taking 14 minutes to be served and what it should be is 11 minutes. So what is the gap? The gap is three minutes. So how do we solve this problem? How do we remove this three minutes from the supply chain to make sure that the customers are happy once more? So this is how we use gap analysis to solve a problem. A gap is a problem, issue, or challenge that could be that be an opportunity for improvement. Gap analysis compares two different states of something, the current state and the desired state. And that is what we've done here. And what do we need to do? Look at the actions here. First, you need to obtain more opinion from the customers about the experience. Then ask the employees what will help them to provide faster customer services. And during the process of asking the employees or looking at the ways we find out that the company just procured so many new equipment. 
And this new equipment, customers, um, the, the, the employees working within the kitchen and the rest of them find it difficult to use the new system. They are struggling. They don't have the required skill sets. So what do we do? We train the employees to provide faster services, train them how to use most of the uh, new technologies that the company just procured and the rest of them. So I want this thing, I just wanted it to be simple because we can equally go deeper to look for technologies we can use to make sure that we, we can offer faster services. But that will come in um, within the main course. We're going to look into a lot of things. But I just want to show you the, our, our manner of approach. So looking at real life experience, scenarios, solving companies' problems, because that is what we are going to be doing in real life when they hire you. This is not theory. This is practical. What we are going to be doing, we are going to be doing gap analysis using fishbone. We are going to be doing process mapping. So you must know how to do your uh, uh, gap analysis, uh, root cause analysis, uh, process mapping, data modeling. This is what you are going to be doing when you get hired, the project manager, as a business analyst, as a project manager, you must be able to, to know how to create a good project plan. You must know how to manage your stakeholders. You must know how to manage your team. You must know how to track your project to be within budget and on time. You must know how to use both waterfall and agile methodology. You must know how to combine different project management uh, methodologies and framework to deliver a swift uh, solution. So, um, let's look at uh, some of uh, a story, success story we've registered. And just few of them. This is a success story. One of us I got a job as a business analyst with an American company even before completing her internship. She not even finished her internship, but she started a new work already. Started working. So, and this is how she shared her experience within our forum. This is another success story. This person secured a World Bank project manager job. He has not completed his internship. He's still working with us, and he's, but he's still doing his job. He started his job already. This is another um, project manager job. This one is a medical doctor. He just secured a project manager job with an American software company that developed medical equipment or medical softwares. She, have, she started work on Monday. So, and more. More of our students are on their interview. These are, these are the people in Nigeria. Here in UK, uh, three of my students already have gotten a um, job already. And, and uh, they are still working with me because they have not finished their, their work placement. So these are the the experience we've, we've got so far. And 
I believe with the I can do it attitude, all of you can do it. Well, some of all these people, when they join, um, like this particular person, she shared uh, her personal experience. She was um, applying as a project manager job in Upwork uh, using her little IT experience. But when she started with us, you can find that she was uh, so embarrassed that she didn't know that she didn't have any skills in project management. And after a few months with us, she got the right skills she'd been looking for and then started applying. And she got different offers, but she decided to this particular one is the best of out of all the offers she got. So that's it. So at this point, I want to take questions from you guys. So, so that's the, the end of uh, my presentation. So I want to hear from you, ask questions, any kind of question you want to ask. Ooh, I will, I'll try as much as I can to respond to your um, questions. Good evening, Eugene. Thank you very much. You have signed in. Okay, I can hear you very well now. Okay. Okay. So um, I wanted to ask because I'm following the figures. The money is motivating me. And I'm sure I'm speaking the mind of some other people here. So um, what does, how do you cross? Because uh, in your profile, I saw that you are a senior BA and you are a senior PM. Mm. So I wanted to ask, what is the transition process like? You know, from junior to... PM to senior, what was the, what does it take to cross to these stages? And uh, is it like years of experience? Is it like uh, some certifications? What do you actually need to get to the peak of your career in this field? Yeah, it's um, years of experience, but not really years of experience is uh, based on industrial experience. You know, like I've worked in so many different projects and based on, on my experience, I started applying for bigger, bigger roles and I cracked most of the interviews and they took me up into senior level. So that is how it works. But like most of you here are senior already, like someone who have worked already, uh, looking at when you graduated and the rest of you, you have enough experience. But what you don't have, you don't have so much skills. So if you have skills and if you can, if you can manage to work in one or two areas as a starter, that's enough. Once you've done one job or two jobs, that's enough. You can start applying for higher roles when you feel that you've got required experience. So you start trying out other roles. So there is no, it's not, um, it's not like mathematics that you count this step before you count another step is based on you, how serious you are, you know? So that's uh, how you can, because me, I was doing a lot of, I was doing two project management, I was doing a, a business analysis, I cross carpets, I, at times I do hybrid, I, I, I manage a project as a, as a project manager, as, as a business analyst, I do everything. And that's why I'm training you guys as hybrid. 
because this is the kind of experience. When you are talking about, when you are telling an uh, employer, um, when you've gone for a business analyst interview and you are overlapping, showing some project manager skills, the employer will be, be, be impressed. And when you've gone for a project manager job and you'll be talking about how you can use so many BA uh, role, like how you can work very well with uh, Six Sigma uh, and uh, Lean methodologies as a project manager, not only traditional project management, the waterfall, or not only agile methodology, but you can talk about Six Sigma and the uh, uh, lean. These are experience the employer that will motivate employers. Once you have all these things, if you are not, because most of you are coming to UK, you've not worked in UK before. First, you need to try to understand the environment, you know, language, um, accent, speak. So some of these are some of communication. These are some of the things you want to first work as a junior business analyst. So you can get grabs of the environment and once you've got the grasp of the environment you can shoot up so. thank you so much sir i i think i totally understand now thank you so much yeah so, i see okay Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Kenika. Yeah. I want to ask if I'm not coming to Scotland, how am I going to go about the internship? As the internship period, I'm supposed if, to. If you're not coming, if you're not coming to where? Scotland. I think I'm going to England. Yeah. Whether you are coming to Scotland, coming to England, UK is the UK. Okay. UK yeah. is. Yeah, carry on. So I can, I can still do it if I'm not going to Scotland. No, this is not. This program is not for people for people going to Scotland. You can do it whether you are in Nigeria, whether in UK, whether you are whether you are in Canada, whether you are Australia, you can join. So okay, that is even um, the even the internship is going to be all uh, it's going to be remote too, right? Yes, it's going to be fully remote. Okay. Because if if you if you, as a as a BA or a project manager these days. If you get your uh, your your desired job, most of the time you are going to it's going to be remote. You are going to be working from home. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Do we still have any other questions? Uh, I see someone here say is a, a, a saucer. Are you related to Raymond the saucer? So, so. So, if you have any more questions, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I think uh, I'm not sure, but I think your contact has been shared amongst us. So maybe there will be individual inquiries. But... Sorry, I have to find out something. Now, okay, it's about payments. What's the deadline for payments and um, what's the mode of payments? Is yeah. it a bank account or whatever for whoever is interested? The, the deadline for payment is that. Um, as soon as the program starts, yeah, for you to because when the program starts, if you if you join late, we are not going to go back to say okay because you join late, um, because it's going to be 
one month for training, two weeks for business analysis, two weeks for project management, and two weeks for business analysis. That is one month. And then we proceed to work placement where we're going to be um, working on um, real life projects, solving companies' problems, using delivering uh, solutions, implementing softwares. We are going to be developing softwares for companies, uh, real life, not um, theory. So that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, the method of payment, our system is that you have, um, we're using a um, pay stack as our payment gateway. So if, if you want to pay, it's going to prompt you to pay through pay stack. But if you are struggling that you can't pay through pay stack, but a lot all, all our students are not struggling, you know. So, but if you are struggling, you can contact me and uh, you can make direct payments and we then enroll you from the back end. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I wanted to ask, what was the, uh, for the one month training, what was the schedule like? Is it like a one hour a day? Is it every day? Is it learn at your own pace? Is it like no? It's not. It's not learn at your own pace because it's not going to be recorded video. Okay. It's not recorded video. It's a live session. We we teach live session, and because it's more it's more productive doing it that way but every class we have we record our class and upload it so that you can go and look it up anytime you want but it's going to be at least um three classes at least three classes in a week i said at least we can have more than that okay. and it's mainly going to be evening classes because most of our students are working class. This is more of a mature program. So they go to work. So and it's mainly evening because of that, they are their are jobs. So but, um, that is it. So and I don't think uh, people uh, for from our experience, our students don't struggle, you know because of our flexibility we try to to carry everybody along that's why we is mainly uh from seven o'clock to to ten o'clock okay class can be uh our our classes cannot last for two hours each a, a particular class cannot last because i don't like like um lengthy classes okay. where people will not uh, concentrate when the class becomes too lengthy uh, it becomes less engaging. So it's just like within two hours every evening. So if you can just come back from work, so okay, commit like two hours of our learning, that's, that's it. I don't think that's much. So we crack everything within within one month and crack the training, the, the internship within three months and we are good to go, you know? So I've, I've got a friend that have come here, the school, <clears throat> the school promised her work placement. Um, she came here to study uh, data analysis and they promised her having her head, but they are not pro providing her with any work placements. So she's coming here and um, <clears throat> I, I, I provided her with work placement and the result, desired training. So that's why I'm telling you that what you can get, I'm not bragging, but what you can get here from us is way better than what you are going to get from those universities. But the only thing is that they are enjoying their names. So that is it.
So I, I once more say thank you for your time and everything. Hi, sir. Sorry. Sorry before you round up. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Okay, I know, um, I think it was Rashida that, that asked the question. So um, regarding the payment, so payment has to be made before the 15th of July, basically, that's it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then, but, but, um, but, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm listening, sorry. No, when, when you finish, I'll come, I can let me, I don't want, don't okay. want to Okay, okay, then. Okay, that's fine, thank you. Um, and then the second thing is um, on this training, once we are able to um, do the training and probably have some kind of work experience, this can also lead to us taking some exams, obviously, because I think um, in this field, you have to have, you know, some kind of certifications to show that you know, um, you're able to do things or, you know, just, you know, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I wanted to understand, you know, so it's not just the training and the work experience. Um, yeah, well, what else well, can we do? Mm -hmm. Once um, uh, you, you register with us, we, we issue certificate, but I have to be honest with you because we are still young, we are working on our um a lot of uh, documentation registration with a lot of things but we issue certificates okay. you know so we are working to okay. be to be accredited within all the relevant bodies but we are still very young all these things takes time for us to get all these things done and get all the required recognition from government passing through all the bureaucracy okay and a lot of them, mm -hmm. and they're doing the politics right. in it, and they, so, but we, we should start, once you finish this program, you get the certificate. Okay. Uh -huh. So, and again, you can equally want to, to get more certification, to get more recognized. There is this, um, uh, Agile certifications like Scrum Masters, product, product, um, um, product owner certification, uh, BA International certification. There's a recognized certification by the uh, business analysis, uh, project management body of knowledge. All this will be issue a lot of certification, which uh, is not uh, related to any school or related to any company. It's a globally recognized certification in business analysis and project management. If you want to get it as well, you can get it, you know. But the main thing is that we provide practical approach to what we are going to be doing because I've done a lot of this certification and they didn't help me much. They are just blowing grammars. These grammars will not help you to get a job. And companies, they don't look up for it. Like me now, I'm working, I'll be interviewing a lot of young BAs. When I come for an interview, I know what I know what I'm looking for. You need to impress me that you can do that because I won't want to, I wouldn't want a situation. You know, we in Nigeria we love uh, celebrating certificates. They using certificate to decorate. Uh, yeah, that's very good. That's our mentality, where we're coming from. But here, you need to you need to show you can do it. That is the difference. Thank you. Yeah. So. I will share this video, this recorded video. I don't know how I will share it through um, uh, Rashida. So, and um, yeah, if we can please the people, uh, don't mind, we can equally create a full room, also full room, for this class that is about to start, 
but the major how I do it is when a class starts, I create a forum for the class. And that's why how I do it. So thank you everyone for for participating and uh, I'm hoping to to meet you as the program uh, when the program starts. You you have my contact. You can reach out with your personal questions. I will try as much I can to attend to you. Yeah. All right, no problem. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. We will be in touch. No worries. So. Yeah.